To realize the ambition of turning Mars into a colony, what SpaceX needs more than temporary tents is solid and spacious factories. This is why SpaceX has undertaken plans to expand its production infrastructure, Star Factory, taking the manufacturing of Starship to a new level. And if you already know about Tesla's majestic Gigafactory, where 5,000 electric vehicles are produced per week, you'll definitely be impressed to know that SpaceX's Star Factory will be much more insane. This impressive expansion of the new Star Factory serves as evidence of Elon Musk's far-reaching vision, establishing a solid foundation for the development of the world's largest spacecraft, Starship. Let's find out more in today's episode of Great SpaceX. Elon Musk, the CEO of SpaceX, has long been driven by a grand vision of enabling multi-planetary life for the sake of the human race. Musk believes that establishing a colony on Mars is crucial for the survival of humanity in the face of potential future catastrophes on Earth. To accomplish this ambitious goal, Musk has unveiled his plan to build more than a thousand Starship spacecraft. He likens the spacecraft to a modern Noah's Ark, a vessel that would save humans from catastrophe and bring them to a new world while the home planet is healing. While well, the amount of a thousand spacecraft is certainly not small. So Elon Musk definitely has a rocket manufacturing strategy to make the un imaginable a reality. According to Musk's slide deck, this is the future of Starbase Texas and for its existing Starship factory. Musk enthusiastically responded to Zach Golden's tweet about the immense scale of Star Factory with a resounding yes. At the SpaceX Starbase facilities, the progress in the expansion of the Star Factory has made it evident that additional footings had been installed in the area where the Low Bay and the Pipe Brook Assembly Building used to reside before being demolished. Furthermore, a new conduit has been seen running parallel to these footings, housing electrical wiring for the factory expansion. This suggests that the expansion plans include a physical infrastructure and the necessary electrical infrastructure to support the increased manufacturing capacity. And honestly, SpaceX's ambitions for building infrastructure for its rocket program are huge. They're not merely expanding the main 310 factory factory with a fourth larger permanent building. Instead, it was reported that they aim to replace all of Starbase's tents even more extensively than that. The new factory of SpaceX will expand with an additional seven buildings, similar to the current Star Factory. We can only imagine that when the Star Factory is completed, it will be eight times the size of a single building, equivalent to approximately 220,000 square meters. Regarding the height of the buildings, they will likely be designed to be equivalent to the height of the tents, and there will be taller buildings dedicated to manufacturing and researching higher components. In comparison, an approximately 28,000 square meter building would have almost two and a half times as much covered floor space as Starbase's three tents, all of which can theoretically be used for ring and nose section assembly. In fact, with a mostly flat roof, SpaceX could feasibly expand most stacks by a ring or two, which would reduce the number of sections and thus stacking operations needed to assemble a ship or booster. While tents or sprung structures can be indefinite solutions for things like automotive manufacturing, Starship production is one case in which a more permanent flat ceiling building is undeniably superior. And with more than two years of experience and data to draw from, SpaceX may be finally confident enough in its present day Starship production methods to commit to the construction of Starbase's next evolution. Which brings us to the construction of the new mega bay at Starbase, which has also reached a significant milestone. The project has achieved the completion of level 3, signifying remarkable progress in the construction process. This accomplishment is a testament to the dedicated efforts of the teams involved in the construction project. Notably, two corners of the new level have been successfully installed, further solidifying the structure's framework. As the construction continues to advance, anticipation builds for the eventual completion of this level. And with each level completed, we move one step closer to witnessing the immense capabilities that Star
Starbase will offer in the future. Furthermore, we have observed the completion of the concrete pouring mission by the dedicated workers of SpaceX. A total of 171 trucks from the city have successfully accomplished their task, resulting in the pouring of over 2,000 cubic meters of concrete. Progress is also being made on the foundation for water-cooled steel plates. This crucial development showcases SpaceX's commitment to ensuring the safety and stability of its infrastructure. The meticulous construction of the foundation is underway, incorporating various pilings such as rotary board pilings and continuous auger pilings. The highly anticipated water deluge hardware has arrived at the SpaceX Starbase launch facility. This hardware, which consists of ingeniously designed perforated steel plates, is set to play a vital role in protecting the OLM against the immense forces generated during launches. These strategic installations are aimed at providing a solid base for the upcoming integration of the water-cooled steel plates. And with each step forward, SpaceX is reinforcing its foundation, paving the way for the successful implementation of this innovative and robust protection system against exhaust plume damage. Additionally, there have been positive signs of activity as flex hoses and the protective hood are reinstalled on the OLM. These components play a crucial role in providing fluids and protecting them from the intense forces generated during liftoff. The reinstatement of these elements indicates that the preparations for testing and future launches are well underway. Lastly, an encouraging development is in the delivery of liquid oxygen and liquid methane to the orbital tank farm. After repairs and upgrades, these tanks and associated systems are now operational once again. The delivery of propellants is a significant step forward, demonstrating that the infrastructure is in place and ready to support upcoming missions. In contrast to the hustle and bustle at Starbase, we can see a more somber, slower atmosphere in Florida. At the end of 2022, SpaceX accelerated its operations at the launch facility in Florida. They had plans to construct a Starship factory in Florida with a scale similar to that of Starbase and possibly even larger. SpaceX proposed expanding up to 100 acres at the Kennedy Space Center encountering no significant obstacles. In fact, they achieved certain milestones, completing the stacking of a massive Mechazilla 2 launch tower, the carriage system, and the upper quick disconnect arm. The chopsticks, which are noticeably shorter than those at Starbase Texas, are nearly finished, resembling tiny T-Rex arms. In addition to the new tower and chopstick system, SpaceX installed several ground-level propellant tanks, a water deluge sound suppression system, and a circular launch mount where the Super Heavy booster will be placed prior to liftoff. Since the beginning of 2023, SpaceX has not made any significant developments regarding the launch site at the Kennedy Space Center. However, this does not mean they have abandoned this launch site. Instead, they may be waiting for a more opportune time to resume construction and finalize the launch pad after achieving successful Starship launches in Texas. And if you've been following SpaceX closely in Florida, you may have heard about their plans to build a Starship production facility along with Hangar X. There have been occasions when we witnessed workers cleaning up and conducting surveys in preparation for a new foundation. However, recent indications suggest that progress has halted with no further construction of an entire building. And currently, all activities at this site are primarily focused on Falcon 9 as a storage and maintenance facility. But regardless, the important thing is that Florida has been chosen as the primary launch site for Starship in the future. Therefore, significant developments in this location are undoubtedly essential, whether it happens sooner or later. Musk also confirmed this during a gathering at Starbase. In response to a reporter's question about SpaceX's plans to establish a new launch site at the Kennedy Space Center, Musk stated, The future role of Starbase, I think, it's well suited to be our advanced R&D location. So, it's like where we will try out new designs and new versions of the rocket, and I think probably Kennedy will be sort of our main operational launch site. It's an exciting time for SpaceX and it will be interesting to see how they continue to grow and develop in the future. Well folks, that wraps up our show for today. We hope you enjoyed learning more about the amazing progress happening over in Texas and Florida. Now if you want to support our channel and get access to exclusive content, please consider becoming a patron by clicking the Patreon link in the description below. We appreciate 
appreciate your generosity and your passion for space exploration. As always, this is Kevin from Great SpaceX, and until next time, keep looking up.